Hey y'all, this is Vic. Hey, thank y'all for stopping in. I appreciate it. Uh, hope y'all doing well. Hey, I've got uh, some uh, estate sale hall uh, tools. We have uh, three, uh, actually four, four estate sales I went to. One of them only picked up one item and I'll show that one probably first off. And then I'm going to break these down into smaller videos by popular demand on Instagram of two votes. So, <laughs> appreciate Mr. David and, and Mag Dad voting on uh, breaking it down. I didn't want to do one large one, but uh, so uh, I'll break it down by each estate sale and uh, and post a few videos, I guess, in the next uh, week or so. So, uh, hey, uh, thank you all for stopping in again, and uh, let's just jump on into it. Thank you. This toolbox here is from one estate sale to that tote to that can. That's a, a day one estate sale. And then this section in front of the can to that box, that's another estate sale that we went to. And uh, it was a day one as well. Uh, this, uh, this here, this uh, estate sale that you're looking at there, we went back on half off day and got this stuff. It's from the Red Devil scraper down through here. And then went to another estate sale and got this stuff on half off day to include a garbage can with some bird, uh, not bird seed, with uh, grass seed. And then six dollars for those uh, for those saw horses there. I need another set of saw horses. Mine that I have are made out of two by sixes, and uh, been wanting to make me a set of uh, out of two by fours. Anyways. Check out this toolbox here. Ain't that cool? I can't find a name on it or anything, but uh, I like it. It's got a little wheel here. It's gonna need. Some, it's got all these drawers in it. And then another one folds up here, and there's more tools that I got from that estate sale. And then, uh, of course, take that here and take that out with the door off. And you got that. I just thought it was cool. I can't, I wish I, I don't think it was handmade, but I haven't been able to find any uh, mark on it or anything. So, I'm gonna uh, dig those tools out. Put it down here. And get started. started uh, there was a state sale we stopped at, and I uh, only picked up this one item. A little Stanley, number 36. When it cast a uh, little level, it's 12 inches. 12 inches. It's, uh, it's missing the the little liquid uh, leveling bulbs. Uh, has one in this one, but it probably needs to be replaced. Looks like it all can be replaced. I'll just have to figure out how to find them, but ain't that cool? I paid $1 for that. I mean, that's just, whether I can fix it or not, it's just cool. So, uh, picked up that. All right, so the first estate sale we went to, remember these are all one day. Picked up this whole, got this whole set of, uh, well, not that, but uh, 12 uh, screwdrivers with uh, two torques. Uh, Credo professional screwdrivers. It's a, it's a whole whole set. Uh, even has uh, the pokey thing. So I uh, thought that was pretty good for, for four bucks. So. Uh, so we got that. Across these uh, Greenfield uh, taps, hand taps, with a little case. I always thought they were pretty cool. A couple of little small adjustables. This is a germ. This is made in Germany. Uh, well, I thought that was three eighths, but I think it's eight eight. I have no idea, but uh, nice little adjustable, little six inch. Hey, uh, this right here. Found this at a uh, or a junk store out in the middle of a country store. 
Ace Reed Hardware. I worked there. That was one of my three jobs I worked way back in the day. And I paid $5 for that thing. <laughs> I didn't even know we sold them when, when I worked there. So, uh, the, uh, the garden stick. But, uh, I bought it because, uh, I used to work there. So, uh, anyways, that's the most I've ever paid for a, a, a wooden ruler. <laughs> and here's just a no name, little six inch, uh, adjustable. She's twisted, boy. I mean, twisted. Mr. Tom or Scout Catcher would have fun with that one on their deck, I guess. But, uh, it's pretty good, uh, quality. The German one is real, real nice. It's real thick. And, uh, but, uh, so we got those. A large pair of channel locks. And these are probably 14 inches. Uh, no name, but they have a number five there. Uh, I don't have a pair that big, and uh, I've wire wheeled it some trying to find a name and uh, just hadn't had any luck. So, uh, we got that, of course, got a 12 inch diamond. I always find them and I always get them. So, uh, you just can't beat the, their tools, that's for sure. So that's nice. Uh, what is that? Three quarter inch chisel. And then this is a, uh, a crescent. A little 3 sixteenths punch, USA. So I picked up that. A mess of uh, slip joint pliers. I mean a mess of them. These are Uticas. 7 10, 10 inch. These are 10 inch. Them are nice. Another pair here. These are her brands. 34 19, I believe. So, uh, these are becoming my favorite, favorite uh, type of uh, slip pliers. These here are New Britain. So my collection has started off pretty good. These are some great finds. I paid two dollars a piece for these, and uh, and then this one, I don't know what that is. M M I S something number ninety five. I can read that, but uh, ain't them pretty cool, huh? That's a that's a good start on uh, different brands of a. Uh, collecting there and then these little little normal uh, little six inch uh, Harold USA I think I got a couple other pair of these but I've gotten where I like the finding the, the little thin ones there so, so that's not a not a bad little collection there I kind of like those so uh, and they're just they're just nice so all 10 inch the uh, you can see here from the, every one of them have knurled handles. Uh, I kind of like uh, the, the feel of the her brand. It's rounded more. These here are more straight. More straight. And then whatever these are, they're more rounded. So pretty neat, huh? So two dollars a piece a dollar for these so we got that That's these little williams number uh 57 yeah, that's what that is yeah 57 little cutters no no name pair of uh little utility pliers or uh lineman's pliers the cutters and they all line up pretty good I bet these are Utica because uh, there was a lot of Utica there. Like these are Utica. These long little slim duckbill are Utica. Utica, I think. Yep. Yeah. And. Here's a pair like Scout just did. 
Utica 1000s, Utica New York, or 1000s dash 10. They, uh, they're tight. They, uh, they're real nice. I understand what he was talking about. So, uh, so they were, they were nice. Little pair of Utica uh, needle nose. I just love this style here that Utica did. Uh, Utica seven seven eight six one two, I think, or maybe six one slash two. I'm not sure, but uh, them were pretty nice. Then these Utica nineteen fifty Bs. They had a little bit of use. Nobody's tightened them up, but somebody grinded it or replaced it or something. I'm not sure what happened there. But, uh, they feel good. The Lyman's pliers. So, I like those. So, that's all that for that. One wrench. Well, a couple of wrenches. Stevens, Walden, Worcester. Number 212, three quarter inch box. What's built too you ain't gonna crack that one picked up a little little three eighths and seven sixteenths snap on uh vs one two one four usa b so we got that Rito, same a brand as the screwdriver professional little drill bit set We're paying like four bucks for it. We have Barcola forged, fully guaranteed. Rat got a hold of the top here. These are Barcola, 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 Barcola. Barcola, it's missing this one. This one I think is a fleet. I'm not sure. It's a little war there. And then of course they slipped in a craftsman. This one V. Half inch, nine sixteenths. So, uh, picked up that little pack there. Thought that was neat. And another little tool roll. Not sure why I got this. I just thought it was cool. But it's an ox wall. And it's uh, pretty much a complete set. That. It's an ox wall. USA, uh, just a cool little, it's weird that these are big pockets for little sockets, but other than that, she's all there, oil can, all weather, 10W30, actually had gas in it, yeah, I use it for gas, I'm here paying five bucks for it, y'all smell that gas, I can smell it, <laughs> has a little, little pinhole leak here, so, Anyways, it'll just be up on the shelf. And this, this tote, shop tote, portable electric tools incorporated. Just has a bunch of different pieces in it. Uh, just stuff I guess the, the fella used. I paid $10 for it. So there's a little, little tin solder and paste and I like this tin here scotch electric tape number 33 but we had some seats and the uh, hose washers in there faucet seats and the uh, hose washers and uh, but I like uh, I liked it and uh, this is soldering gun stripper over here a little proto. Yeah, <laughs> look at there. 704. It's professional. That's all right there. How big is that rascal? Oops. I got excited to saw a proto. A little four inch. Well, that'll do it for uh, for estate sale number one, day one. I probably had, I probably ended up, I know I paid 50 bucks for the toolbox. Uh, $2 a piece for these. A dollar piece for all these. I can't remember. It's been a, I've slept a few times, uh, but I want to say at that first estate sale, I probably spent, I don't know, 80 bucks maybe. So, uh, 
think I got some great quality tools for my, especially these. I really like these. Anyways, uh, y'all stay tuned and uh, keep an eye out for uh, estate sale number two. And uh, I'll do day one and 50% off day all together. So it might be a little longer. So uh, thank y'all so much. Y'all have a good one.